why be easy when you can just die? Woo! Wow! I'm Chewy Mew, and welcome to my channel. But more specifically, welcome to welcome to a Chewy Mew unboxing, and also me stuttering because I can't speak anymore. And yes, yeah, so we got a package here. This is a Spider-Man three figure. On um, this is next to the package, so I'm concerned that they crunch the figure down into a ball. I'm just gonna tear the box because this tape is impossible. There he is. So uh, I'm in there. And that figure is the Spider-Man 3 5-inch scale black suit Spider-Man, but it's not the 5-inch scale. This is the 6-inch scale, even though it looks like it looks like it feels small. Is it actually? It is! Look at that! I think it is. I mean, yeah, the seller on eBay, they, they, they measured it. Like, the eBay listing showed them measuring it. So, he should be six inches. If you stand up, come on, dude. Uh, yeah, you see, he's barely under... Can you see that? He's barely under six inches. Um, and here he is next to uh, the other Black Suit Spider-Man. Mine is a bit taller than he's supposed to be because I've customized it and modified it. And this is the... It's, it's a painted version, but this is the more vanilla version that doesn't have a bunch of joint modification. And you can see they're about the same height. Is that how it looks? Yeah, because he's pretty bulky. Um, and I'm making sure all the joints are, are like, they're not stuck or anything. Oh, and the joints are very nice on this guy. They feel, they feel very good. So I've never owned any of the, uh, the head range is kind of bad though. I've never owned any of the, uh, five inch scale Spider-Man three figures. I've only ever owned the six inch figures just cause, uh, I, I, I don't like, I don't like the five inch figures cause they don't blend in very well. And I'm not a fan of this head sculpt, I will say. So I'm going to see if I can maybe modify this one. And put it on because I made like a disc hinged neck. I would. Can you pop this head off easily? You can. Okay. Yeah. So these two holes seem pretty consistent in size. Oh dear. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably just gonna I'm probably just gonna take that piece out and then just add like a ball peg on this to move, and that way I can put this head on here because I think this head. Uh, I mean the web lines aren't. It's not the same kind of sculpting on the web lines, but I could probably put that on and make it work. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. I'll be doing a review of this guy eventually. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.